To inspect or replace the drive belt on your Razor Pro R, follow these steps. Park the vehicle on a flat level surface and place the vehicle in park. Remove both seats by pulling up on the seat latch lever and tilting the seat forward to remove. Next, turn the four quarter turn latches on the upper rear close off panel. Lift the panel up and pivot out around the seat harnesses to remove. Next, open the center console and release the two quarter turn latches on the inside. Then, release the two lower close off panel quarter turn latches. Next, lift the lower close off panel with center console up and pivot out of the vehicle. Continue by loosening the upper and lower PVT hose clamps on the outer PVT duct. Then, carefully maneuver the duct out of the vehicle. Okay. Next, release the 10 clutch cover latches on the cover and carefully maneuver out of the vehicle. If any are damaged, the vehicle toolkit contains spare latches. Inspect the cover seal for wear or damage and replace if necessary. Before continuing, take note of the drive belt direction of rotation. The belt must be installed in the same direction if reusing. Next, remove the driven clutch spreader tool from the clutch cover and thread into the driven clutch to spread the sheaves. Then, carefully walk the belt off the driven clutch and remove from the drive clutch. Inspect the belt for any fraying, hourglassing, loose cords, missing cogs, abrasions, burns, or damage, and replace if needed. Next, clean out the inside of the clutch covers thoroughly, ensuring any belt debris is completely removed. If replacing the belt, ensure the part number on the belt is facing outward when installed. Loop the belt over the drive clutch and begin to walk it over the driven clutch sheave. Then, remove the clutch spreader tool and reinsert into the clutch cover. Next, rotate the driven clutch clockwise 5 to 7 times to help seat the belt on the sheaves. Reinstall the clutch cover and secure the 10 latches. If any are damaged, the vehicle toolkit contains spare latches. Then reinstall the PVT duct, securing the two PVT hose clamps. Next, reinstall the lower close off panel with console, ensuring the lower retaining tabs are fully engaged. Then, secure the two quarter turn latches. Then, open the console and secure the two latches inside. Next, reinstall the upper close off panel by pivoting around the seat harnesses and engaging the lower retaining tabs. Then, secure the four quarter turn latches. Finally, reinstall the seats by aligning the front alignment tabs and pushing down on the rear to engage the latch. If the belt was replaced, follow your owner's manual guidelines for belt break-in. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.